Right now, Rich Lux is being accused of being a racist and the whole drama channel community might be in trouble. But before we start this video, as many of you know, I wrote a book called Cancelled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture where I share my own experience and I wanted to start this video out with an excerpt from my book. I fancied myself as a humble individual, but I wasn't humble enough. I needed to up my game quite a bit and maybe the backlash wouldn't have been as bad as it eventually became. One of the reasons I wanna talk about this is to have it be a cautionary tale for anyone on the come up out there. Don't be like me. Never think you're invincible. There are a few exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, the community can humble us if we don't get humble ourselves. If you don't believe me, look what happened to James Charles. His situation reminded me a lot of my own. I could tell that he felt invincible too. And he was much more invincible than me, but the mob had no problem coming after him. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before we jump into this topic, two quick things. One of them is, do me a favor, go watch the video I did yesterday about James Charles versus uh, Tea Spill and the drama channels. I put a lot of work into that. And if you're into psychology and philosophy, you will love that video. So do me a favor, after this video, go check that one out. It'll be linked up in the info card. I'll, I'll put it down in the description below as well. Second thing, I'll be talking about this from the perspective as uh, uh, of somebody who is half African American, all right? And obviously my perspective is gonna be different than someone like Earth Mother or even Petty Page because as you've noticed, I don't look half black. And I think there's a lot of good conversations coming up, but we need to discuss kind of what's going on and how we're having these conversations. So those of you who have no idea what's going on, quick little recap, I made a, a more in-depth video about this the other day, but uh, a very small YouTuber by the name of Earth Mother just got a bunch of conversation going. Um, at the time of recording her video, she had about 600 subscribers, and now I think she's at 1,100 or so, but anyways, she was basically doing what drama channels do, and she shared her opinions about people like Rich Lux, The Viewer's Voice, Petty Page, Just, uh, Dustin Daly, and you know, some others. And yeah, the drama community jumped on her, all right? Like, I am so glad that she's bringing this up and having this conversation. Like, what I've talked about before is, in the mainstream media, like, we know, we know about the bias. Like, it's very clear. Like, if you watch CNN or MSNBC, very clear liberal bias. If you watch Fox News, very conservative bias. Same thing is happening in the drama community. There are certain people, like Jeffree Star, who they will not criticize. And I, for me, that was one of the main points of Earth Mother's video, but she also brought up some things about, you know, racism and things like that. But anyways, at the time of recording, like I said, she has 600 subscribers and all these huge drama channels jumped on her. And it was kind of like the Barbra Streisand effect, all right? Those of you who don't know what that is. So long time ago, um, just long story short, Barbra Streisand, uh, people found out where her house was and she didn't want people to know where her house was. So she made a huge deal about it, a huge deal. And when she made a huge deal, a bunch of people came looking for her house and found it, all right? So this is known as the Barbra Streisand effect. Like there is something very small that not many people know about and then you use your platform to bring attention to it and then that's when it becomes a big deal. And in my opinion, I feel that's what these drama channels did. Like their, their pride, their ego was hurt so much by this smaller channel calling them out on some things that maybe, maybe they may feel is a little bit true, that they felt the need to respond. But here's the issue. Here's where this became an issue. And like I said in the intro where I talked uh, about that excerpt from my book, is thinking you're invincible. 
So this whole thing started where Rich Lux um, tweeted this out, but which is now deleted, but everybody has a screenshot of it, is where he labels Earth Mother as a stalker and as a racist, all right? He throws these very strong labels on her. And although Earth Mother brought up topics about race, and you can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, and please give me a timestamp, but I don't believe that Earth Mava called anybody a racist except for alluring to Jeffree Star being a racist. But anyways, Rich Lux took these very strong labels and slapped them on Earth Mava, a stalker and a racist. But within 24 hours, within 24 hours, this clip came up. Imagine standing a racist. Well, girl, you know what? First of all, and... Not that he is, but if he was, and ain't nothing wrong with being a racist, girl. Being a racist is frowned upon. No one likes a racist, but last time I checked, it's not illegal to be a racist. There are people, there are people out there who are loud and proud that they're racist all day long. So yeah, now that clip has been going around since then. Rich Lux is losing some subscribers. Uh, Petty Page found a different clip where he cleared it up the following day. Um, uh, but yeah, like uh, the damage has been done. So real quick, do I think that Rich Lux is a racist? No, I try to live by Hanlon's razor. And the reason I do that is because I wish people would do that for me, all right? So Hanlon's razor, for those of you who don't know, it says, do not attribute to malice, which could easily be attributed to stupidity, all right? I think what Rich said was dumb. I think a lot of us can agree what he said was dumb, but is he a racist? I don't think so, all right? But this happens all the time, especially in the, you know, with all the YouTube drama that's constantly happening. People do, they make dumb decisions, and we immediately think like, oh, that makes them a bad person. The reality is a bunch of people just do really stupid stuff. We all think that we're so smart and we and we make these great decisions all the time. The problem is, is that we do a lot of very dumb things. Good people do dumb things. Rich Lux did a very dumb thing. <laughs> but like I said, Earth Muffa is bringing up a very good point that I think people need to be discussing a little bit more. And it's something I discussed a little bit in that video from yesterday um, about James Charles versus the drama channels. There is a very clear bias. There is a clear bias. And Earth Mother made a follow-up video, I'll link it down in the description below, where she talks about like, if you wanna be a loyal friend, like be a loyal friend and just say, yo, this is my friend, I'm not gonna talk bad about them. You know what I mean? But the problem is, is that they won't outwardly say that, so it just looks very biased and very hypocritical. Like if you're friends with someone like Jeffree Star, cool, do you baby girl, be friends with that dude, all right? Some people may disagree with it or whatever, but like the way that the drama channels kind of operate is they try to minimize anything that Jeffree Star does and more and more people are starting to notice how this is you know, a problem. So the last thing I wanna talk about is uh, Earth Mother and just kind of my opinions on this. And I've, I've talked to her in DMs and everything like that. Like, I am glad that people like her and Sharita Explains It All are having these conversations. There's some other YouTubers who are having these conversations. Like, I think one of the reasons this story has blown up is because everybody wants this drama to be light and fluffy. Like, oh, that's a bad friend. That's a bad friend. Oh, just bad friends, right? And they're bringing up more serious topics such as racism, a little misogyny and things like that. And like, these are things that people don't wanna talk about, but I'm grateful that people like Earth Mother uh, and others are talking about this. Like these are things that we don't just ignore them and just pretend like they don't happen. But I do have a theory. I have a theory that a lot of people watch the drama channels so they don't have to think about the serious subjects. Hell, if I'm being honest, I think that was part of the issue I ran into. I was trying to bring in a serious topic like mental health and intertwine it with YouTube drama and people don't want that. People want drama to be light and fluffy. So although I, I do love that Earth Mother is uh, bringing up these topics as well as others, like I do disagree with her at, on one thing, right? So something that she talks about is, you know, people even wanting to talk to Jeffree Star with his history of, you know, racist remarks and things like that. That's 
something that I disagree with that we shouldn't have conversations. Like there is, there's a story and I, I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but he's a black man and he, he went around, there's a documentary on it. He went around meeting with KKK members, right? And this is something that is huge. It's powerful, right? Because the thing is, and a lot of you know, like I've been really getting into like group psychology and moral psychology and everything like that. We need to have conversations with people we disagree with. One of the things is, one of the issues when it comes to racism, when it comes to a lot of these like group mentalities and everything like that is dehumanization right? Not even considering the other person as a human. There's a study and uh, I might do a whole video on it, but they had people rate like, you know, how human do you consider these different ethnicities, uh, ethnicities, right? And like, it's really scary, man. It It's scary. Like, oh, you know, these people are less human. Like what? <laughs> like what? So when you start having these conversations, you might start changing the perception of other people. So, um, Andrew Yang was trending on Twitter yesterday because, uh, real quick story, one of the guys who just got hired for Saturday Night Live, the new season, some clips of him uh, came up where he was making some uh, pretty racist remarks about Asian people in America. And it started this huge backlash and Andrew Yang said, yo, I'm willing to sit down with this guy, right? And that's huge, that's huge. But what I will say, is this when it comes to earth mother i think she is right in the in the aspect of like i i don't think anybody was trying to sit down with jeffree star and have a conversation about these things like uh shane dawson did during that documentary but in just in my opinion and i might be wrong but i don't think i am <laughs> uh i don't think it's about any of these drama channels having a conversation with jeffree star about um those remarks he made i think it's about clout you know what I mean? Like, I really don't think, in my opinion, I don't think that Jeffree Star or any other influencer like Trisha Paytas or anybody pays these drama channels because they don't have to. You guys, like, listen, in, in this, in the YouTube community, like, money is not even as valuable as clout. You know what I mean? And I've said this in other videos, like, the influencers know this, like they're playing the game. They're like, okay, you know, I'm buddy up with these drama channels. They'll back off me a little bit. That's cool. You know what I mean? So I'm glad this topic's being brought up, but like, I really hope, um, you know, people pay attention. Like, <laughs> like it's crazy because a lot of people from that community who heard about my book canceled or read my book, they say things like, I, uh, you know, I have no self-awareness. I, I took no accountability or anything like that, but, a lot of my book is a cautionary tale, all right? I have changed the way I do my commentary and stuff like that because I know how things can spiral out of control and turn into cancel culture. So like, like I said, a lot of these um, drama channels think they're invincible and they sit on Twitter all day long just, just openly talking crap to people and I don't know, I think something's stirring up and Maybe they'll humble themselves before the community humbles them. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to watch the video I did yesterday on James Charles versus the drama channels, my blend some philosophy and psychology, all right? But I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon and everybody who supports the channel in other ways like buying my books and merch and stuff like that. I appreciate you, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.